Welcome my viewer. In this tutorial, I will share with you how you can work with folders. We are going to perform four different tasks using a folder. One, creating a folder. Two, renaming a folder. Three, restoring a deleted folder. Then four, saving a file into the folder. So let's start with option number one, creating a folder. As you know, a folder is any name location on a desktop where related files can be stored. So to create a folder on a desktop, you right click anywhere on a free space. This is my desktop. You right click anywhere. Then a menu will be displayed. Move until when you find option new. Then another menu will be displayed on the right hand side. Move until when you find option called folder. Left click on it. You see that new folder 3 is it has been created. Now to actually what? Write the name of this folder. You can just type then you say just give it any name. When actually what? It has still highlighted it blue. I can say maybe I can call it that uh, Charles then oh like that when I'm done just click outside you see that a folder has been created on a desktop and the name of the folder is Charles O. that's done what about if you want to rename this particular folder it's not difficult members you can just click select this folder left click on it you see that a light blue background will be highlighted. So what you do, right click again, then you follow the option called uh, continue following until when you find rename. Then just click left, just do it, right click anywhere, go to rename. You see that it will highlight it for us. So what you do, just enter the new name. Then I say, uh -huh. a new folder, I can call it student, student folder. When you're done, just click outside. That is a simple step of renaming a folder. Then option number three. How do you restore a deleted folder? Assuming you're working with a folder and you delete it accidentally, what do you do? So I'm going to do it. I will just left click there to select this folder and then I'll tap on delete from my on my keyboard. You see that the folder actually what disappeared so there is no need to worry about these members you can still restore this folder you know a recycle bin is where deleted items are stored so you double click on a recycle bin mine is here i've said that's been i've renamed it yours can be a recycle bin so double click on it it will take you to the recycle bins you have seen that all these one these are items that have been deleted and deleted items are stored here so let's scroll down until when we get our student folder it will be here in the recycle bin so now you see student folder is is here i've seen it student folder is here so after seeing it just left click to select this folder then you right click on it and then you say restore just cli left click restore you see that it will disappear from the recycle bin then you can just close it when you go onto the desktop you see the folder is already there it has been restored then option number four how do you save your items or a file onto your folder that is not a very difficult thing to do first you create that file i can create any file microsoft office file i can save uh, create word document let me just come here and then i can say what i can type what or even you can just right click anywhere on the desktop then you say new and then you say microsoft word document then after that you just type on this particular document and then you say this is my student 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 file like that then you click outside when you're done creating this particular um, a file and saving your works will now be simple you can just drag left click this particular folder to select it press and hold down the left button on your laptop or the mouse 
on your desktop so what you do just press an OLED and then you carry this process is called dragging you can drag this and move it anywhere you want so I can just drag this file and put it there onto this particular folder so when I open inside this folder by double clicking you see a student file is already there so members thank you so much for watching this tutorial that is a simple process of dealing with a folder